Thank you, Guru, and good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a great honor to be here to talk about NEC's views on SDN, Software Defined Network. And uh, I'm very happy to be here whenever I come back to California after four, four years uh, at, of the graduate stu uh, study at uh, Stanford. And now the California sky is very clean. But unfortunately, my brain is still hazy just because I got here yesterday. And it was a long trip from Tokyo. So let, let me uh, use my script to <laughs> don't to forget about the uh, contents. <laughs> uh, now, uh, most of you know SDN very well, but uh, some of you may not know NEC. So I'll talk about uh, who is NEC first. Then uh, I'll explain what SDN is. Uh, I also talk about uh, NEC's solutions and our customers' experience. Uh, the main purpose of my today's talk is to tell you that SDN is ready to go. Uh, you are already in the first phase of SDN. Uh, first, uh, I'll introduce you to NEC. Uh, let me explain the corporate profile of NEC Corporation. NEC is um, annual revenue of around 38 billion US dollars. Uh, we have uh, 116 employees worldwide. Uh, most of them are software, system, and uh, hardware engineers. Uh, we spend more than $2 billion uh, for R&D uh, every year. Uh, we are a technology-oriented company. Our motivation is passion for innovation. Uh, we have uh, four R&D centers in Japan, Princeton, New Jersey, Germany, uh, and Beijing. Uh, NEC was founded in 1899 uh, as a joint venture of Japanese entrepreneurs and Western Electric of AT&T. Uh, since that time, NEC has been a leading company of information and communication technology. Uh, this year shows you what NEC has done in the past 113 years history. Uh, we started with the production of telephone sets. Uh, NEC announced the vision of the C and C, the integration of computers and communications, in 1977. The integration has brought us various fruits, uh, including internet and cloud services. The hottest topic of C and C is SDN, Software Defined Network. Uh, I'll talk about a, f a few examples of NEC's contribution uh, to the uh, technology. NEC supplied the world's first commercial high-speed optical cable transmission system to Disney World in 1978. At the front page of the New York Times of April 20, 2002 reported NEC's supercomputer as Computonic is here. Uh, the US was shocked by the supercomputer like Soviet Sputnik in 
1957, the essence of the technology was high-speed interconnection of 640 computers in, the, in this super, supercomputer. Now, NEC is a clear pioneer of SDN, Software Defined Network. As you know, computer industry changed from the uh, integrated model to unbundled model and has succeeded in increasing the total usage of computers and total market size. At this point of time, network industry is still integrated, but SDN industry is emerging through unbundling applications, operating systems, and the hardware of the network. SDN will bring new ideas and innovation and new people who enter the network business. The existing network is facing the explosive increase of data traffic because of dramatic increase of video application, machine-to-machine -machine communication, and smart devices. So it's very likely that SDN industry grows explosively. It's a time for network users to be prepared for rebuilding the existing network to take advantage of SDN. NEC has been involved in the development of SDN specifications and trials since the beginning of Stanford Clean Slate program. NEC provided hardware forwarding instead of software forwarding in the early, very, uh, in the early phase of the program for commercial use standpoint. This made it possible for NEC to launch the world's first SDN commercial products in April last year. Based on the latest specification, the Clean Slate program has ceased to exist as of January this year, but NEC is committed to continue to pursue a next generation of software-defined network with Open Networking Research Center at Stanford and UC Berkeley. NEC is also actively participating in upgrading specification of Open Network and SDN at ONF, Open Network Foundation. NEC has been participating in the various trials for the next generation network, such as Gini, Internet2, JGNX, and Ophelia in Europe. Uh, we have shared uh, various experience and knowledge of software-defined network with many partners since 2008. For example, NEC made a TV broadcasting experiment jointly with the broadcasters, and we gained the experience of multicast delivery and route switching without intermission. As you know, Gini is a virtual laboratory at the frontiers of network science and engineering for exploring future internets at scale. NEC has provided almost half of the open floor switches to Gini. NEC is the first vendor to bring SDN switch and controller products on a globally available basis. Since then, NEC has been taking the leadership role of SDN industry. It's not incidental results 
Instead, it's a natural result. NEC has the persistency for the commercial application of SDN technology. NEC is proud of being a pioneer of SDN. NEC's program of flow is not only connecting switch and controller by open flow, but it's a complete solution for realizing SDN as commercial use. We have considered the best way to design virtual network operation and provide real value to users. For example, we provided the balance between traffic handled by the controller and traffic offloaded to switch. We have implemented this kind of know-how to the program flow products. NEC's program flow received various awards, including Best of Interop 2011 award for category infrastructure. The product was chosen because it was advancing networking technology in innovative ways. The product is the first commercial product in the market and contributes to driving SDN deployments into the real world. One of the features of the product is the coexistence of legacy ports and open flow ports in the same switch. This enables seamless introduction of SDN at the user's environment. N Next, I'll talk about NEC's views on the software-defined network, especially from customer's perspective. SDN, Software Defined Network, provides various new network services using open flow as one of the key components. In the open flow, the data path and the control path are separated and handled by a switch and a controller, respectively. The switch and the controller are connected via open flow standards. This separation introduces flexibility to the network and simplifies management, provisioning, and configuration. The network is virtualized, and it becomes so easy to create new services. The open standard interface gives the users an option to build a multi-vendor network platform. Users are able to program the network with software through the open interface. Conventional, distributed, and autonomous network is handy just because it's a plug and play. However, when it comes to using it securely, considerable amounts of, con of configuration work is required. With SDN, users can get the required network rapidly, cheap, and on demand. Users will be able to implement special features with software without asking switch vendor to implement. The value of software-defined network is as follows. Number one is simple. SDN centralizes control of the network and eliminates the need for distributed protocols such as spanning tree. Number two is first. SDN automatically monitors network traffic and distributes it according to custom defined policies, continuously updated network resources, and traffic conditions. Number three is scalable. You can expand SDN from managing the traffic on a single rack 
of an existing network to managing the traffic with an entire data center. Number four is open. SDN separates network control from switch hardware. As a result, users can make infrastructure investment decisions independently from the network features they want to support. The value of SDM is that users can upgrade the network according to the uh, needs anytime without waiting for the routers and switches upgrade timing. Conventionally, the new features of services of network fully depend on routers and switches. However, in software-defined network, the services are unbundled from the hardware and we will get more freedom to innovate the hardware and software independently. NEC's customers have already started introduction of SDM into their existing network. They have got the fruits of the paradigm shift of networking to differentiate them from competitors. They are providing new services at lower cost, with a quicker speed, and with more value added. Those who are still sticking to the conventional networks will face formidable SDN armed computers in the near future. NEC itself is facing the paradigm shift and trying to accelerate the development of SDN solutions. We believe that the hotter competition gets, the faster innovation occurs. So we seriously welcome new entrants into the SDN business. Open Floor has a good potential to building revolution to the networking world. However, Open Floor itself is just a protocol. The most important issue is to evolve, uh, explore user values, leveraging the potential of open flow. In this context, I believe the concept of SDN will give life to open flow protocol. NEC has materialized the concept of SDN as, uh, as programming, programming flow switch. In other words, NEC as network simplification, virtual network modeling, and network visualization on top of flow st standard, and has created a programmable flow solution. Sometimes we have abandoned full capability of open flow to take easy operability. This is similar to the fact that a high-level language is easy to use, but sometimes it's impossible to write a program in assembler-level details. Conventionally, huge investment in the network systems and operating expenses are needed because the network is configured as a silo for each department and system. So various network appliances must be installed for each tenant, and those boxes cannot be shared with others. It is a heavy work to design, implement, and operate the entire complex network. The uniqueness of NEC program flow is a logical extraction, play, uh, logical abstraction playing called VTN, Virtual Tenant Network. 
This enables the complete separation of logical plane from physical plane. This enables the complicate, complete abstraction of play, uh, complete separation of logical plane from physical plane. Users can design and deploy any desired network without knowing the physical network topology or bandwidth restrictions. VTN allows the users to define the network with the look and feel of conventional L2, L3 network. Once the network is designed on VTN, it will be automatically mapped into underlying physical network and then configured on the individual switch, leveraging open flow control protocol. The definition of logical plane makes it possible not only to hide the complexity of the underlying network, but also to better manage network resources. It achieves reducing reconfiguration time of network services and minimizing network configuration errors. Adoption of SDN started off with universities and other research institutes. They are working on research of totally new networking with a clean slate of SDN. The results of these research works will become the base of new networking business. Also, we see deployments of SDN in the data centers of service providers and enterprises. It is easy to understand that service providers welcome the idea of virtualization of network because they are facing the move and change of their networks every day to meet their customers' requests. These users have no troubles with NACs, programmable flow, and are looking for broadening the implementation. We expect software-defined network adoption will be the further extended to the backbone networks of telecom carriers. Although they have pretty large network, they need to move and change their networks as data center operators. NEC is fully committed to explore the area where the market can leverage on the value of SDM. Now, I'll show you uh, NEC's proven expertise and customers' cases of programmable flow. Uh, this just shows you a partial list of supply records of NEC's programmable flow in the past one year. You should notice that there are many Japanese enterprises to start building their network with SDN. They have already provided, uh, they have already proved the advantage of SDN to speed up their business transformation. Also, we have established increasing number of partnership and alliances with server vendors and system integrators. They are also enthusiastic for SDN because of its potential to change the world. In the following few slides, I'd like to talk about three examples of commercial deployment of NEC's program of flow in the data center and enterprises and the planned deployment in telecom carrier in the near future. Uh, this is the case of Genesis Hosting, a service provider in the United States. The goal of this case was to utilize NEC's programmable flow to maximize the efficiency of global IP address usage, which is limited resources 
and achieve flexible and dynamic configuration of, for the global IP address assignment. The achievements are the first is accommodation of twice the number of end customers with the same amount of global IP address resource. It led to considerable increase of Genesis Hosting's revenue without increase of scarce resources. Second is drastic improvement in service levels due to the reduction of routine maintenance work. The important point is that this is not an experiment nor a trial, but a real application of SDN to the commercial network. Programmable flow is handling the real traffic based on know-how accumulated in the past five years. Genesis Hosting is very much satisfied with NEC's programmable flow's contribution to their business success. This is because they are able to optimize the physical network resource without any impact on the high availability of the network itself. Let me quote the words of Genesis Hosting CEO, Mr. Eric Miller. He said, Genesis is enjoying a new ease of configuration and expansion. Uh, we can grow our business because the network automatically configures itself as we add new switches. We look forward to exploring our use of programming flow and fully experiencing the benefits of this product family can bring. The next case is Nippon Express Corporation, one of the largest logistic companies in Japan. They have long strived for improvement in efficiency of platform operations but were reaching a limit. So they needed some sort of revolutionary breakthrough instead of uh, incrementary improvement. Although they were able to reduce the server configuration time with the server virtualization, it was quite a challenge to reduce the time and effort for network configuration in accordance with the server virtualization. They had to assign full-time network engineers to accommodate new services or a change of services every day. Also, they have to use outside network SIRs to change the network configuration, etc. However, they have successfully solved these issues by deploying NEC's program of flow. The customer commented that it was surely a challenge for them to introduce a new technology, but they are happy they have made decision to deploy programmable flow. They believe that it will become common to use SDN in enterprise networks because the cloud technology accelerates it. Nippon Express's achievements by NEC's program flow are as follows. First, design and operation environment of virtual network provided by VTN, virtual tenant network, have enabled to stop outsourcing of network configuration. Also, drastic reduction of lead time to start new services has been realized. Second, they have successfully overcome slow failure recovery time in the existing net distributed and autonomous network. Also, they have reduced lag space from 32U to 10U, and power consumption from 14 kilowatt to 2.5 kilowatt. Nippon Express is the first enterprise user of programmable flow and we experienced some minor problems in course of actual implementation. We have given solutions to these minor program problems 
and accumulated our experience to apply to other users' network. The last case is the use of uh, program flow within NEC itself. Conventionally, it took at least several weeks to remove a system from one location to another according to the workload or resource usage. When a tsunami disaster hit the East Japan last year, we had to move system to West Japan due to serious power shortage. It was quite a challenge for us to move our system geographically without uh, giving impact to our business. Since we deployed the program flow for the system, it became exp extremely simple to move the system because we can replicate the exactly same network by copy and paste. Also, we can reconfigure the load balance among resources easily to optimize business resource usage. The next use case is uh, uh, for carriers network. The actual implementation is coming soon on global network of a Japanese carrier. This will be announced shortly. The, the virtualization of servers and storages become common. The pressure of the virtualization of network is increasing. Major network vendors have started introducing proprietary network virtualization products. However, it's a time to learn the history of computers. At the end of the day, computer systems have become fully open. The same thing must happen to network systems. Network users and vendors must be smart enough to leap through the intermediate technologies and realize networks to meet the end users' needs fully. Otherwise, you would be just enclosed in the bundled world and waste time and money. Open and software defined architecture realizes new economics in the future network. There is a huge opportunity for entrepreneurs to start new types of business, including new products and new services. The hardware of SDN will dramatically increase in volume to accommodate the explosive data traffic, the software for SDM will become rich and diversified. We expect that new type of software will be delivered by various vendors, including open flow software communities, uh, open source software communities, sorry. Apparently, new type of business will be created by various partnerships. Finally, uh, I'd like to uh, reiterate the SDN is ready to go, and then open flow community is so valuable for our future. Uh, before closing my speech, let me spend a minute to say thanks uh, for your support to the East Japan earthquake and tsunami disaster. Uh, we really appreciate your support and assistance. We have been encouraged to recover from this disaster with your support. It was an unbelievable disaster. However, we learned a lot from this. Uh, it is our duty to make a better society, not to repeat the same tragedy. Information and communication technology contributed to minimize damage for Super, super Express Shinkansen, various sensor networks helped to stop trains safely without any loss of lives. Google Map service and GPS traffic roadmap contributed a lot to recover disaster areas. Facebook and Twitter were heavily used to inquire 
after people's safety and to find supporting goods for people. However, we believe that there are still many areas where we can improve and we are determined to do so. One of the ideas is the ap application of SDN for disaster recovery and congestion control of the network. SDN technology is expected to contribute to, to, uh, for various projects. We lost some network nodes and links in East Japan area. It might be feasible to use SDN for the quick recovery of the disrupted network. Also, we experienced the overload of the network after the disaster in all over Japan. It might be possible to realize much smarter congestion control by SDN. Apparently, uh, we need to develop new technology to realize these networks. We need your cooperation to make better networks. Uh, finally, uh, let me tell you our commitment to society. NEC Group Vision 2017 is to be a global leading company, leveraging the power of innovation to realize an information society friendly to humans and the earth. Friendly to humans means to realize a safe, secure, convenient, and rich life with services anyone can use. Friendly to the earth means to enable coexistence with the global environment and sustainable growth by efficient use of limited resources. The software-defined network will be a key element of the information society, friendly to humans and the earth. We are ambitious. We are committed to continue to make innovation of CNC technology for open network communities. Uh, this concludes my talk. Thank you.